Hey guys, Will, the Hungry Box here. We just got done watching the grand finals of Melee Smash Con 2016. It was a great match. It was a great match. It, tell us about the start of things. Uh, when you first entered the event, what was the atmosphere like here at Super Smash Con this year? I mean, it was a pretty great, fun match, but he did fuck me up pretty hard. Um, so. I think we've taken turns doing that to each other this whole past year. I have the side counter him still, but like, he goes to show that like, if either of us aren't on our A game, one of us will be. It's like we base our momentum off of how sloppy someone else is playing. Yeah. So if Mango's doing some slop, I get momentum. If I'm doing some slop, he gets momentum. So I had some missed rests, I had some easy missed edge guards, things like that. Um, but you know, he's just he's a world class player for a reason. You know, um, I'm very happy this happened here, not at Evo. Um, I did a lot, lot, lot more preparation for Evo. I had a pretty busy week this week, so hoping for Shine, I can uh, get back to practicing regular routine and uh, give him a better match because I was kind of sloppy on my end, I think. Sure. Yeah. So do you think about your strategy when you're fighting a different player? Like if you're fighting Mewtwo King, do you think I'm going to go more aggressive or going to be more, you know, complacent? Or does this change based off of who you're playing? Um, it's everything is uh, character specific and mat and player specific matchups. So you have to like we study sort of like what are this guy's habits. And the thing with Mango is like he always has new stuff on the table. He learns really quickly, and you have to sort of adapt in the game. So there's not much preparation you can do for Mango. Um, it's honestly whoever's playing better will win. You hear that phrase a lot, but it's uh, it sums up melee pretty well. So I think he knew that I wasn't playing my best, but. Um, you know, we'll get a better set next time, I think. So did you feel like you were on your game uh, here this year at Super Smash Con? Uh, I thought I was um, against certain players. Like, Shroom took a game. Mewtwo King I beat pretty handedly. Um, but it was like, I guess when I'm on the stage against Mango, and then I have to have a sort of really good mindset, and I was, I felt like I was a little distracted. Obviously, no Johns. I can't say that, because like, he beat me pretty badly. But like, um, it, it felt different from Evo. At Evo, I was in this very different, uh, almost like, River mindset, just like go with the flow and just really, but also focusing at the same time. I had this, I was at peace here, I wasn't nervous, but I didn't feel like I was focused that well. Do you get stressed out at all when you know that all these people are sitting here watching you? Um, you know, after you, after I won Evo, it's just like uh, losing doesn't really phase me anymore. It's just like that's like the world, that was my world lifetime accomplishment, and now that I have it, it's just like you'll have off days, you'll have days where you're playing well, but not well enough, and you know, the best player always wins. Melee is a phenomenal game for that sense, and uh. Yeah, everyone has an off day, I think. So can we expect to see any other characters from you? Nah. Nah, Jigglypuff all the way. I suck with every other character. <laughs> Look, man, you should be very proud. Appreciate it. Hungry Box, second place, grand finales. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thanks.